Hey cinema fans, welcome back to another movie review. Today we got Air starring Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. So you have Sonny played by Matt Damon who's trying to recruit Michael Jordan into their Nike basketball division, basically selling shoes, being the face of Nike pretty much. Because at the time, Adidas and Converse were the top main dogs in the whole uh, sports, uh, uh, sports, uh, like clothing, shoe industry, selling the stuff, and Nike at the time was like the underdog. And basically what is happening is Sonny is trying to uh, get a deal with uh, Michael Jordan, trying to bring him in, recruit him into the Nike uh, brand and let him be the face of Nike. And not just because of, because this is before Michael Jordan really makes his uh, real big, I mean, he's heard about um, but he isn't the Michael Jordan that we know from, you know, playing Chicago Bulls and uh, becoming the biggest uh, or the best basketball player of all time. This is before all that. So not a lot of people are kind of like they don't want to bet all their chips into Michael Jordan because they haven't experienced the Michael Jordan uh, era yet. But not era, but basically uh, Sonny is trying to he has to convince Nike also has to go around. Uh, uh, Michael Jordan's uh, agent, also Adidas and Converse. And this is where I think Matt Damon's acting really shines in this film. I think it's real, one of his best acting chops that he's had in a long time because there's this moment in this film where Matt Damon, Sonny, is uh, having this monologue uh, speech of uh, selling it to Michael Jordan, the reason why he's so passionate about having him be the face of Nike and why it's more than just the brand it's that he believes in him as a basketball player and believes that he can be not just one of the greats he will be the great greatest basketball player of all time and how that idea and that uh, uh, belief is aligned with Michael Jordan's parents well particular uh, Michael Jordan's mother you can also gotta get to see like uh, like you get to see some of like how I don't know if it's actually accurate or not, but you get to see uh, Michael Jordan's mother kind of be kind of the kind of the director, or she kind of does a lot for Michael Jordan, trying to make sure that he is uh, working with the right people, not with people that are only out for the money. You know, this that 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 plays an important part in this film, but like besides all that. I mean, the, the camera work is really very well done. Um, there's this moment with uh, Matt Damon and Chris, not Chris Tucker, uh, Matt Damon and Marlon Wayne, where they're having this conversation, Marlon Wayne's trying to kind of inspire Matt Damon to pursue him, his pursuit, his uh, trying to recruit Michael Jordan and that dialogue they have with each other. And the camera work is so, it, how it goes in focus and out of focus is so good. It's so well done. And nostalgia from the 80s. I was never around for the 80s, but it's just everything. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. And some may say that nostalgia is just a little too much nowadays, but it works in this film. And the song selection, the, I mean, the, the Easter eggs of the 80s. Uh, just there's so many callbacks to the 80s, what was happening around the 80s. And it just it had that 80s feel. And, you know, and the thing is, besides all that, the actors of this film really make this film shine the most is that you get the best acting chops from Ben Affleck, uh, Matt Damon, Jason Bateman, uh, Chris Tucker. Uh, Marlon Wayans is not in there. Like he's been in there like one time for one scene, which I just talked about. And then there's a uh, Viola Davis, which bro, Viola, like I've said before, like when I did a trailer reaction, Viola Davis is a powerhouse and if you can get her in anything she's going to steal the show she definitely does and this and the chemistry that the, the relationship and the, the playing off each other as actors i mean matt damon i mean if matt damon's performance in this didn't if he did not deliver doesn't matter how great these actors were doing if because he's like the he's like he's the main character of the film and uh, sonny is and the, the, he's kind of like that's the web, but he's the centerpiece, and Sonny is the centerpiece. He makes basically he gets the ball rolling, and what he does in this film 
as an actor and how portraying that 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 amb- ambition, that drive that Sonny had, you know, taking real life events and really portraying that or uh, showing that to the audience and just everything about, I mean, I, I can go on for hours about this film. And don't get me wrong, I love franchise films. I love Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and all this, all the great stuff, but it's these kind of movies like uh, like uh, Shawshank Redemption, uh, The Green Book, The Green Mile, Forrest Gump, uh, I can go on, I mean, Good Will Hunting. You know, Ben Affleck does an amazing job with this film, not just as a director, but as an actor and a producer, even a producer's, we know their roles in producing films, but just Ben Affleck hits a home run with this film. And I just love these kind of films that are, and if not a character study of, uh, of Sonny, but honestly how acting is done and how, again, the way Matt Damon just like, there's this moment, like I mentioned before, this monologue he does of trying to convince Michael Jordan to, uh, to sign over, sign on to Nike, the way he just just portrays the emotion in his face and his voice and what he says is just it, it's so much. I know I'm going on forever about this. I I, I should I'd never do a 10 minute movie review, but um, I'm gonna give this film a straight up. 9.5 out of 10. I really love this film. Um, it, the pacing wasn't off at all for me, and actors did their best, if not made the film great as it is. And I just, the directing, the, the camera work, the, I mean, just everything about this was just, it worked. It worked. So that's my movie review and rating of Air. Um, I do recommend going to watch Air. Um, if you don't see it in the theaters, just whenever you can, Please watch this film because this film delivers on all fronts. And if you're from the 80s and was raised in the 80s, you're going to love this film. Even if you're not from the 80s and wasn't raised in the 80s, if you like Nike shoes, you like Michael Jordan, or you just like movies in general, you're going to love this film. So I recommend this. That's my review of Air. Follow, like for more, and tell me your thoughts about the film. And I'll see you soon. Peace.